uh, Mr. Secretary, um, there is a humanitarian crisis at the southern border. Yes. It has continued. I said that on this show, in this chair, two and a half years ago. Yeah, you, you did. Two and a half years ago, it started mm -hmm. under Donald Trump. Uh, we the, the Border crossings, uh, when Donald Trump became president, were at a 50-year low under Barack Obama. On Barack Obama's last day, border <clears throat> crossings were at a 50-year low. I remember that. The, yes. the, yeah, you were there. And I that's why. Right. Again, I, I want to say I that again. The problem. Border right. crossings, when Jay Johnson left, when Barack Obama left on the southern border, illegal border crossings were at a 50 year low. I was playing T ball my first year uh, the, as a five year old, the last time they were that low. During the Trump administration, the crisis intensified. In the Biden administration, it's intensified even more. Uh, I, I, the, the Biden administration does not have a grasp on this any more than the Trump administration had a grasp on this. They, they, they do not understand. Uh, they just don't understand uh, how critical this is for Americans. They, they can say, oh, they're racist, they're this, they're that. They're, no, no, no. We believe in borders. We believe in laws. We believe in order. I didn't say law and order. Don't don't cry. We believe in order at our borders. That's pretty good. Order at our borders. Sure. But it's <clears throat> not happening. It's a humanitarian crisis, and we need somebody like you. And I say Jeb because because uh, let's make it bipartisan to go down and bring order to a chaotic situation. It's only getting worse. I'd rather. Talk about the issue from 30 Rock. 1.7 uh, million illegal 1. crossings. 1.7 million crossings uh, this past fiscal year. Look, here are the two big lessons I learned from owning this problem for three years. <clears throat> Number one, if you go, and this is something that gets lost in the political debate where you have both sides screaming at each other. Right. If you go to a place like Laredo, Texas, in Henry Cuellar's district, mm -hmm which is 85% Mexican-American and about 85% Democratic. Right. They will tell you, we believe in treating migrants fairly. Right. They will tell you, let's take care of the DACA class, mm -hmm. the Dreamers, they're de facto Americans. Let's be humane, consistent with our values. But we've got to get control of our borders. And I happen to believe the majority of America believes the same thing. Um, we have to, you, you cannot have 200,000 a month crossing our southern border. That is, that is a lot of people. It drains the ability of the Border Patrol, Customs, the communities on the southern border, Catholic charities. My wife volunteers for mm -hmm. Catholic charities. She knows. It is not sustainable. Barack Obama said the same thing. It is not sustainable. The other lesson from all of this, in my judgment, is... <clears throat> Illegal immigration is a very information-sensitive phenomenon. It reacts sharply to news about changes in enforcement policy right. in the United States. The Trump administration took it to an inhumane level. Right. But you increase enforcement, the news quickly gets down to Central America, and the numbers fall sharply. The corollary to that, however, is that as long as the underlying conditions exist in Central America, the push factors, right. which overwhelm any defense you could put on the southern border, as long as those underlying situ conditions exist, the numbers are always going to revert back to the right. longer-term Well, term what you're timelines. saying, is, uh, though, though, really is consistent what, with what Democratic Congressman Henry Cuellar said, which is, we need to send people back. We need to get it on the TV. We need to send the message back to to uh, these countries that do not send your children across the desert. It's dangerous. They may die, and they're only going to be turned it's, back. It's unpleasant to have to deliver that message. I literally went to Honduras, stood at the bottom of the stairs of the airplane deporting people back, to welcome them back in front of the cameras, to show that we were sending people back to Honduras. Right. It's, it's, it's a message you have to send. Well, you say it's unpleasant. It's even more unpleasant to send the message, Rev. Hey, come on up. And then once they get there here, there's chaos. Don't, do not entice people 
to come across it. Let them know what they're going to see on the other side. And again, we, I, I uh, like Ronald Reagan, like Barack Obama. I support immigration to the United States of America. It's got to be orderly, though. There are people across this planet that really do believe this country's streets are paved with gold and will do anything they can legally to get here. <coughs> so we need order. And we, you and I talk about right. woke, uh, sort of the woke generation. Uh, they've, there's always been this assumption in the woke uh, uh, part of the Democratic Party that all Hispanics support, Hispanic voters support illegal immigration. Support just as many people coming in mm, and a disorderly and chaotic process as possible. And that's not true. Not and you, you, you know, best evidence of that? Look along the border. All of these Democratic uh, counties in Texas that went Republican, and people scratch their head and go, why, why, why is that happening? Because Hispanics don't want disorder any more than white voters want disorder, any more than black voters want disorder. No, you, you have to have order and you have to have consistency to have order. And I think what has happened, and I think uh, the secretary alluded to it, is you can't in many ways entice people to come and then the perception is some are treated differently. Like when some of the ministers and I went to Del Rio to the border, seeing border patrolmen on horses and all, and you've never seen that before. It was not treated that way with others. Haitians flown back, and now you have missionaries under hostage with a anybody. With anybody our age that saw that images thought immediately of Absolutely. the Edmund Pettus Bridge. A a and right. it was that. So I think you need order, mm -hmm. but you need order in a way that shows a consistent uh, immigration policy across the board that will be done in a bipartisan way. And and I clearly agree with you that if you can do it bipartisan in a way that people see that there's not one uh, for some and not asylum for others, exactly. Haitians have real problems there. And I really believe we, you and I talk about woke. One of the things about being woke is that you need to, once you wake up, you need to get up and get something done, not lay in the bed woke, daydreaming. <laughs> and those of us that yeah. are woke, that get up, understand the practicality of getting something done. We're not laying on the pillow daydreaming about right. how to do this. And you, I was sorry. just saying, you need to communicate it, though. And, and Secretary Johnson, you, you talked about the messaging coming out of Washington. And I think there was a big difference, as you said before, Trump came in and people were deterred. Then this administration, and I agree with the idea, was compassionate on immigration. Right. But what happened? It was translated back down to South America and other countries that compassion means you better run up there now. You can get in now, which caused in part part of the flooding. I mean, isn't yep. that what you typically even, see? When even when Donald Trump was in office, and this was his signature issue, mm -hmm. Apprehensions in 2019 were almost a million. Yeah, they're skyrocketing because exactly. of the underlying conditions. Right, a a exactly. And Mika, two things can be true at one time. Uh, we can yes, have they can. we can have a border policy that is humanitarian, that that recognizes uh, American values, mm -hmm. recognizes humanitarian values, recognizes uh, just basic human decency and the the, the humanity of every person that's trying to get in the United States to that border, we can show humanity and we can also have an orderly approach because at the end of the day, that's best not only for the people that are trying to get into this country, but to the Americans that already live in this country on the border, the Hispanics, yeah. uh, the, 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 the other Americans who have been complaining about the chaos at the southern border and, and the impact that it's having. It's really, that's why it is so important that Jay Johnson be sent to the border <laughs> along with Jeb Bush <laughs> at once. Jay Johnson well, rather be sent it, to uh, some remote part of the well, world. Well, America's <laughs> calling. Yeah. He's done his time. Hey, thanks so much for watching our YouTube channel. You can follow up on today's top stories and breaking news or catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place. Download the NBC News app today.